helping sick babies and their families is what our Hope Starts Here campaign for BC Women's Hospital is all about. And Linda is here with some timely advice for parents thinking about buying used baby gear. Yeah, not a surprise. Not all products you buy secondhand meet today's safety standards. So what's a safe bet to buy used and what should you steer clear of? For starters, car seats are an item you want to buy new. A car seat only has a lifespan of about six to eight years. They should really be thrown out after that. Strollers have also improved over the years. Newer models are safer and easier to use. If you do get a hand-me-down stroller, though, make sure it's from someone you trust who can confirm it hasn't been damaged. You also have to be leery of used cribs, of course. Dropside cribs were banned from the market a few years back because of deaths caused by strangulation and suffocation. So make sure your crib meets the latest safety standards. Another drawback to buying used, the items often don't come with their user manuals. They might be missing the warranty as well. You don't. You, you, it's possible that the warranty is expired or something like that, or or you don't know when it's going to expire. You can go to manualsonline.com. That's one resource. Uh, and a lot of other companies will have their manuals archived as well. It's just a matter of searching for that specific product. Now, when it comes to toys, watch out for older wooden toys that may have lead paint and make sure the battery connections aren't corroded. That could be dangerous for little fingers. Now, on the flip side, some hand-me-downs are worth considering, like clothing and books. Gently used clothes can be softer and more comfortable since they've been through the wash a few times. And as for books, if you find some used books that are a little grimy, wipe them off with a mild cleaning solution. Most bacteria and viruses really don't survive long on surfaces. Okay. Uh, what is the best way to find out if an item you bought has been recalled? Ah, uh, yes. Go online. That's right. the simple answer. Uh, you can find information about recalls and safety alerts on the federal government's Healthy Canadians website, and we'll leave a link to that on our website. Good stuff. Thank you, Linda.